How to detect Reba in beams? There are two methods, physical testing and Reba detectors. When we don't know about the reinforcement arrangement or if we need to find the reinforcement arrangement in the old structure, if you want to find the Reba locations, we can do this with these two methods. I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Let's discuss about the detection of rebars in structural elements, not limited to the beams. Why we need to detect reinforcement? During the construction, we do the inspection to make sure construction is done according to the issued drawings. When later modifications are done and when structural details are not available, no way to check the capacity of structural elements. Then we have to find the rebar arrangement. In some methods, we can find the cover rebar speed. In some methods, we can find the rebar diameter and all the details. So let's see how we can do this. Visual inspection. This is the most conventional method we use in rebar detection. But when you use this method, we have to be very careful, especially when we find in the reinforcement structurally critical elements we have to be careful. Expose the beam reinforcement and check the diameter and cover. You can chip the reinforcement, chip the concrete and expose the reinforcement. Then with that, the link spacing, reinforcement bar diameter, all those can be evaluated. We have to make sure no structural damage, damage is done during this process. And also, we have to repair this exposed area. As you can see in this figure, the quite large area is exposed in the beam. So this place has to be repaired. Also, we have to make sure when you expose in the reinforcement, that should be done in the area where the bending is not critical. Or else, now as you know, the tension reinforcement carry the tensile stresses. The compression is carried by the concrete. So when you are doing the chipping, all those you have to consider because it is very important in critical elements. Therefore, we have to pay special attention on this. And once you expose it, you have to repair it. Best construction material is the non sink construction gout. You may use that to repair these exposed areas. Other method is the rebar detection. We also call this as a rebar locator or else we can call this as a cover meter test. All those names are there for this detection. This is a non-destructive testing method. Rebar positions can be evaluated, but you can't find the diameter of the rebar generally. Cover and the gap between reinforcement can be easily find with this method, but we can't find the diameter. That's the disadvantage of the, this method, but there are maybe some very good instrument or high-tech instrument that could detect the diameter of the rebar also. This method is very useful because uh, not like the conventional method, we don't make any damage to the structure. Therefore, this method is most popular in structural assessment. Because when we need to find the capacity of the structure without damaging, if we can find it, it's the best way. With that, we end the today discussion. Today, we discuss about rebar detection in beams. This can be applied to any kind of elements. Let's meet again from new video.